Hi, this is Jeff Rowe for MCAD Cafe, and this week we're at SolidWorks World, and joining me this afternoon is Glenn Smith of DriveWorks. Thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, can you give our viewers a little background about DriveWorks, you know, wh how it began and where you are today with your various products? Yeah, sure. So the, the background of DriveWorks is I'm actually a mechanical engineer, um, and we realized quite a long time ago that people wanted to be able to create customized products yeah. to, to uh -huh. sell a customized product for each uh, each customer each time they sell it um, and traditionally that was that was quite a hard thing to do there's a lot of programming and sure. you know it was called knowledge based engineering and what we really wanted to do and what I wanted to do as an engineer was make that simple mm -hmm. and make that easy to do so we partnered with uh, SolidWorks I'd actually okay. started off as a SolidWorks user myself okay. uh, quite a long time ago uh -huh. um, and saw the power of SolidWorks and wanted to be able to to automate it and the dream was to be able to give a product to an engineer so that they could create their own configurator that uh, would sit inside SOLIDWORKS so they could create their custom uh, uh, custom products really quickly. Right. Uh, but also the whole, you know, reducing errors, uh, time to market, that, that type of thing. And then it went from there, from being sat inside SOLIDWORKS, then naturally more people wanted to engage with that process and so you end up with a web-based configurator, which is where our, most of our market is now. So people having a website where they can configure a custom product, and out the back of it, all of the SolidWorks data gets created automatically for a okay. custom product. Okay. Now, can you uh, explain to us how this ties in with uh, price quotes and you know various other aspects of how DriveWorks actually operates? Yeah, so sure. So you know, if you start off with a, a product configurator, the natural thing then is the sales guys want want that. Um, and maybe the engineers want the sales guys to have it so they can't sell something that can't be made. Um, and so because we've then built a rules-based system uh, and we've created a, a form designer and a workflow and all these technologies, um, you can start using those rules to do things like pricing. Okay. And the pricing may depend on the product, the size of the product, uh, what options the product has, but also who the customer is, where it's going to be used, maybe even what the market pricing is. Right. And so bringing price and cost into this, because at that point you need to integrate with your back-end system to find out how much it's going to cost to make, because uh -huh. it's not just about a price. Right. So taking all of that information together makes perfect sense to be able to, as part of a quotation process, create an accurate price, create all of the manufacturing information up front uh, and at that point, a uh, custom product is almost the same as a standard. You know, there's no yeah, more right. uh, time involved in creating it. Uh -huh. So you can then, you know, quite easily have a, a batch size of one. Okay. You know, make it unique for each customer. Right. Okay. Now, what are you showcasing here at SolidWorks World this year? There's, there's been quite a few uh, changes in, in, in the industry. So um, one big thing that people see a lot, if, if you want to buy a car, you go on a, on a website, you get to see it in 3D, right. you get to click on the door and it opens. The same with uh, sneakers, you know, some trainers, um, to be able to configure those in 3D. So being able to interact uh, with a 3D model in a browser right. is something that people are seeing in their personal life. Okay. And so it makes sense for more industrial products to be able to do exactly the same thing. Okay. And so it's um, pushing it into digital selling okay. so that the, the customers are selecting what they want, they're seeing it in 3D, they know exactly what they want, they can see a price, they can order it right. there and then as a custom product, right. uh -huh. just like they would a standard product off Amazon. Uh -huh. okay. And so we've, we've done a lot of work on the 3D side of thing okay. for configuring products in 3D in a browser on any device. Oh, okay, excellent. Now, for our viewers who want to get more information about DriveWorks, where do you suggest they go? So, our main website, we're a UK company, so yeah. driveworks.co.uk uh, has uh, most of what you need on there. We have a lot of examples on there, so you can see what uh, a 3D configurator looks like, and you can have a go with it. If you put your email address in, it can send you some example information. Um, and just really, the, the idea is that you know, we show people just how easy it is to do this. You know, this isn't a hard thing anymore. This isn't just the big car companies that are doing it. Companies who sell industrial configurable products right. can get into this really easily. Okay. So that's www.driveworks.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining us, Glenn. My pleasure. Thank you.